Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can evaluate integral and derivative uh, for using the sharp calculator ELW516X, uh, G, and then 506T and 516T. So all these three calculators are the same. So in order to uh, evaluate, uh, let me clarify it, that the result will be a number. This is giving or evaluating a definite integral and it will give you a number. And also for the derivative, also it will give you a number. It will not give you a formula of a function. And we want to find the, this area, the shaded area between pi over two and pi using this calculator. So let's see how we can do it. So for the, the uh, integral, this is blue. So we press alpha and then integral. And the lower bound is pi over two. So this is our um, pi and then press this over two with the arrow go to the right one more time at the top and then pi and then with the arrow go to the right now we enter our function let's say sine and then we have to enter x this x, x is with alpha so and then press equal sign you see the screen become blank don't panic it takes time and you see here it says busy it will do the evaluation and then will give you the result so that area under the curve is one okay now let's do something fancier so i'm pressing home so just get rid of uh, rid of that so again alpha and then integral lower bound is zero go to the to the with the arrow to the right and then enter pi and then to the right sine fraction 2 pi over 3 so 2 and then pi you can come to the denominator and then go to the right and then put x and press equal sign uh, remember the value that you get you must have it in uh, radian to properly evaluate the angle because the angle is in radian this plot was provided by desmos so you can evaluate your functions and it shows the area anything you want it's very amazing tool I'm not affiliated with it, but just because it's a good tool, I'm just suggesting it. So the value I've been evaluated as to be uh, 0 0.02, so that's the area. Now let's do the derivative. So this derivative, this is our function, 2x squared minus 3x plus 2, and let's suppose this is a function of a position of an object if you take the derivative of this function it will be the velocity usually in physics and other science you will be asked to find if they give you the position and then they say find the velocity at two seconds at three seconds at four seconds so you can do this so this will give you a number again press alpha and then this button d over dx now it asks you for the function so 2, I'm pressing alpha x and then squared, minus 3, and then again alpha x, as you can see on the screen, plus 2. That's done. So just come to the right. Now we are evaluating it. So it takes a derivative and evaluates it with 2. So I'm putting 2 equal sign. So that is 5. If you want to evaluate it with 3, just go with the arrow to the back press backspace enter 3 and you get 9 go back backspace and enter 4 so this way you can have multiple values evaluated that's it thank you for watching please sign up if you like the video and also subscribe